Hi, everyone. Dr. Susan Brown, director of the Center for Better Bones. This week, Gina spoke to you about the studies of yoga, the Dr. Fishman study in the U.S., and the study in India them showing that you can build bone density with yoga. Today I want to just take a few minutes to talk about that Indian study in particular. The Indian study was actually a clinical trial. It had a controlled group. It had a study group. It was very scientifically done. And to my mind, it's the first scientific study to really say you can build bone density with yoga. And because it is kind of a breakthrough article, I want to take a minute and explain the details of this study to you. So as you develop your own yoga program at home, you might think, am I covering these kind of aspects and these principles? So the first thing that they did in this yoga study, the first thing to note, it was a six-month study, and they did yoga four days a week. So it wasn't every day of the week, but it was four days a week. And what they were looking at was the spine in particular, and that's where they saw the gains in bone density. They were looking at, it was a study of the spine. So the sessions were one hour long for four days a week. Now, they did a, began with a warm-up, and no matter what exercise we do, we always like a warm-up, certain stretching, warm-up, flexibility exercises. They started there. Then they did the sun salute. Those of you familiar with yoga know that wonderful salute where you raise up and you go down and it's a very, it's a position, it's a salute, it's a movement that has many different postures and I'm sure Gina has showed you that all. Um, then they did the basic structure of the to do several, four different positions. So some of the positions were standing, some of them were sitting, some were lying down face up and some were lying down face to the ground. So when you think of your yoga program too, think of those different different positions that you're going to be in as you do the posture. So they had four different positions and each position included three different yoga postures. So they did three standing postures, three sitting, three sublime, three prone, three different postures in each one of these four types of positions, the, the, the standing or sitting sort of thing. In these three postures, they did, so they would do one, and then they would have a rest period. And then they, they would do a rest period. In other words, the second exercise was sort of a rest exercise leading them into the third exercise. So if you're sitting, you do a vigorous yoga posture, you do a more restful yoga posture, and then you again go to a vigorous posture. I think it's very important that there were rests, be, that some of the postures built in rest. Because the more we study we exercise, we see it's based on a balance of rest and activity. And rest is really when the work gets done, when the muscles start to build, when the collagen gets used to the stretching. So they would do three asanas, three postures, but the middle one was sort of relaxing. And then each of these postures was included, was repeated five times. So you do a standing posture, you might do the warrior, you hold that, they held it for 15 to 30 seconds, you rest a minute or a little bit, and then you go to repeat that posture. So each posture was repeated five times, and there were three postures for each one of these four positions, down face up, laying down face down. So just to get the idea, when you do your own program, try to incorporate this. You can copy this little slide I'm giving you here and try to incorporate that a bit. That variety, that idea of repetition, that idea of rest. And then the other thing I thought was very interesting in this study is they would end with a bit of breathing exercises, deep breathing. You know, the more we study the body, we understand that the body is a field of energy. That energy can be stored in the heart or in the abdomen, as we would say. Breathing is what brings that energy into the abdomen. In this Indian study, they did some pranayama, breathing exercises, and then they chanted Om. All of that, I think, is important, too. All of that, trying to bring on a vibrational level, bring energy into the body, and even create the vibration in the body through the Om chanting, which is the universal sound. Actually, they say that's the sound of what the universe sounds like, the music of the universe. So I hope you enjoy this. The more we look at these traditional cultures, it's a real delight to me that they've done a scientific study 
on yoga as it's done in India, and they find you can build bone density. Just like Fisherman with his internet study, it isn't so highly controlled, but still he saw nice results. So go forth, have a lot of fun. We'll be talking to you about many other exercises real soon.